This training video will show you the basics of using the Book I-4, located in the Digital Initiatives Office. This large overhead book scanner has a book cradle and a foot pedal. It is designed to quickly scan bound books and oversized material as large as 2 feet by 3 feet. To begin using the system, turn on the book eye here and the computer here. Be sure to turn on the book eye before you start the software. You will need to log on to the computer with your student worker account and your password. Once you've logged in, open the free flow software by double clicking the icon. Once the software is loaded, make sure the full settings tab is active. You might need to click it. Then you're ready to start a new scanning session. You do this by clicking the new button and then OK. Click the Setup button at the bottom of the sidebar. Then click the button to load settings from template. Choose the correct template. Use the book template for bound volumes whose pages lay open without assistance. Use the flat template for individual items. Use the glass template for items that need to be held open or flat. Use the V-mode template for bound volumes that are fragile. After you choose a template, click Open and then OK to activate the template. Notice that the settings will change once you select a template. Correct placement of your item is essential. Make sure the red laser line is within the bottom one-third of the item. Depending on the item to be scanned, place it either flat in the middle of the scanning bed, or you can lift the sides to use the V-cradle and lock the legs. Or for big books, notice that the sides of the V cradle will adjust to bring both sides of the book to the same level. You're now ready to scan your item. Click the Scan Now button and watch as the lights shine across the scan bed. Once the light finishes, flip the page or you can put a new item on the scanning bed. You can use this button to adjust the cradle. You can speed up your scanning by using the foot pedal to initiate each scan instead of the Scan Now button. The glass lid works well for holding open books or for keeping items flat. When you bring the lid down, it automatically scans the item, and once that item has been scanned, the glass opens automatically. Use your hand to ensure the glass doesn't hit the bumpers at the top. Click the Export button and then the Export Image button on the sidebar. Make sure the boxes for Unaltered and for JPEG are checked. In addition, check for the settings for JPEG to make sure that they say 300 dpi, 24-bit, Filter Done, and JPEG Quality 80. Click the button Choose Base Output Directory. Select the folder where you'd like to save the scanned images. And now you're ready to click OK at the bottom. Once you're finished scanning for the day, close the software and turn off the computer and then the scanner by holding down the blue power button on the scanner. It will say powering down when finished. This video just shows the basics of using the hardware and the software. If you have any questions or problems, talk to your supervisor. Thank you for watching.